Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're working on our 1990 GMC K1500 and we have a noisy blower motor. So today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the blower motor. Okay, so here we are in the passenger footwell underneath the dash and this is the back of the blower motor. So there's a series of seven millimeter bolts around the outside that we're going to remove. Okay, so that's four. And then the last one is all the way at the top there. So I've unplugged the rubber grommet to give myself a little bit more space to work. Okay, so now that we've got all the screws out, I wanted to take a look above the blower motor. So we've got two wire connections to disconnect. So we'll go ahead and pull those off. Now that we have the bolts out that hold the motor in place, along with the wires disconnected, I'm going to remove these bolts along the bottom of the dash. The next step is to remove this kick panel. So I'm going to reach behind and just gently pry it out. There's a couple of tabs that are holding it in place. We left a couple of tabs behind. We'll have to transfer those back onto the kick panel. Up, we need to remove the nut off of this stud and this bolt. So here we are up on the top of the dash. I've pried up one edge of our speaker grill. You can see the tab here that holds it in place. I'm going to try to release the other tab. There we go. Okay, so next up, we're going to remove these bolts under the speaker grill that are holding the dash. Got one here. Okay, so now Grab this metal part of the dash, pull it out beyond the stud, and then pull the dash out and just hook this on the back side of the stud. You should now have enough room to get the blower motor out. So pull it out. There's a few different flat spots. I found if we have the plugs towards the bottom, like that, it gives us the most clearance at the top. There we go. Okay, so we took some time to clean out the old air box. We also transferred over the ground connection to the new motor and removed the grommet where the vent tube will connect. So now we'll slide the new motor in. There we go. Now that we have the motor in place, we'll go ahead and install the screws. After mounting the motor, reconnect the ground wire, the power wire, and the cooling tube. Next up, we'll drop the dash back into place. Reinstall our bolt. Before we Fully tighten the top bolt. We'll reinstall our washer and nut. We'll reinstall all of our bottom dash screws. Next up, we'll reinstall our kick panel. Install the top dash screw and reinstall our speaker grill. All right, guys, I'm glad that job is done. I will say that even the brand new motor does make a little bit of noise, especially on the low fan setting. There's a little bit of a pulsing noise. 
Uh, so if yours is not too terribly loud, I would probably skip this job. Anyway, if you enjoyed this content, please do subscribe.